Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Clifta and I just got done with my ninth workout. This is February 6th and I did arms today. I want to say yesterday when I weighed myself it was the lightest that I've been. I was 114 so I'm down 2.8 pounds from my starting weight that I did, was it a couple weeks ago? So yay! 2.8 pounds so far and it it kind of goes down and then it comes up just a little bit but it's continuously moving down and that's pretty normal too you might be lighter one day and the next day you might be up just a little bit more but as long as you're continually going down then you're good so that was one thing that I was excited about in my last workout my lats were so sore uh, the next day I could hardly like reach my arms up <laughs> but it felt really good. Didn't have any aches and pains and I'm like excited today. Training arms, I actually went up to 20 pounds and I didn't feel anything in my elbows or tendons or anything. So I was really excited about that. I haven't done 20 pounds dumbbell curls in a long time. I only got seven, but that's okay. <laughs> I was happy to be able to do the 20s. I haven't even done 15s in a long time. So I started off with 10s, then went up to 15s, and ended with 20s. I did straight sets and I stretched in between each set. Tricep stuff never really bothered me before. It was my, my bicep stuff. My lats are still sore from Saturday. This is Monday. <laughs> but I did um, hanging leg raises for my abs, and I only did two sets. I did 10 reps on each set. It wasn't my abs that were really given out. It was just hanging like this, and the, the stretch just holding myself up. I didn't have any straps, so I was using my hands. So this was kind of given out, and then just all that pressure here. I didn't want to mess this up. My tendons and joints have been good, so but I could feel that like just pulling and it felt like a little bit of pressure. So I stopped at two sets. And yeah, I was just really excited. And I keep saying this, but I'm just like so excited that I don't have aches and pains. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> it just makes it more exciting to train. And I was able to push myself. I'm actually tired after this workout. I just did arms. I didn't do that many sets. My arms got really pumped and I just felt tired and it felt good. So after my arms, I did 22 minutes on the treadmill and I jogged for 10 of those 22 minutes. So that felt really good. Then I went and sat down and had a quest bar and just relaxed a little bit. I heard this a long time ago when I went with one of my friends to take her son to karate and I heard the instructor talk about discipline and self-discipline and it's always kind of stuck in my mind. You know, people can have discipline. Discipline is when you're doing something because somebody tells you to do it and you're sticking to it. That's discipline. You can have discipline by following a plan that somebody wrote you and I think you learn self-discipline from learning discipline and you can have teachers that can help you with discipline. But then self-discipline is you do it because you know it's the right thing to do. You do it all on your own. I know I had discipline when I competed. I had to have discipline. And I think I probably had self-discipline too. But the contest made me have the discipline. So I was doing it because I had to do it to look a certain way. So I don't know if you could really call that self-discipline or not. I guess you could in a way because I didn't really have to do it. So I did have self-discipline. So even if nobody was around and I wanted some sweets or donuts or something, which I really always craved sweets, you know, I had the self-discipline not to do that. But it was because I had a reason not to do that. And my question all this time since I stopped competing is, How do you get to the point to want to eat right and to work out if you don't have to 
what makes you want to. And it's the eating part, I think, is the hardest part. You know, and I used to be fairly good even after I stopped competing, but the last two, three years, I've just kind of let everything go. And I don't know why. It's like, you know, how did I get here? <laughs> You know, I think it can sneak up on you when you have other things that you're involved in. I can imagine, you know, having kids. I don't have kids. I have animal kids. And, you know, you just get so involved in other things that you put yourself on the back burner. It's like really easy to do. It was okay for a long time because I had so much muscle and so much lean mass that I could get away with it for a while. And my, my muscles just started to shrink. I was really into my horses and I just kind of went down that path and you know I was just having a hard time eating and drinking my water and working out and when I got done with work which I trained people I got done with work I didn't want to work out I just wanted to get home wanted to get home and ride my horses and it's not that I'm not active I'm active it's just a different active but yeah it's caught up with me that's part of my letting go you know i was still kind of riding on my past thinking oh you know it's like i still have a little muscle in my arms but it's like it, it has gone to the point where my arms just the skin was just starting to look old and crepey looking and it's like ugh. and my arms actually have changed already you know there's they've kind of filled out just a little bit everything's changed just a little bit my waist has gone down a little bit but i had like a really big pooch here you know, my, my waist was like getting thicker and a lot of body fat around here. I never used to carry body fat here. Sometimes you don't really realize what you look like until you see pictures of yourself. Or if you go to like buy clothes, you know, when you see yourself in the mirrors, if they're not good mirrors, <laughs> it makes you even more depressed. <laughs> You know, I'm accepting where I am now. You know, it's kind of a process. And I feel, I feel okay about it because I'm doing something about it now. You only feel bad about it when you're not doing anything about it. But once you start to take control of your life again and you start to do something about it, even if your body hasn't changed that much, you just feel good that you're taking care of yourself. Self-love, your mind, body, spirit, emotions. You know, and I've said in a past video that I'm just easing into it. I'm taking my time. I think my main goal is to just make working out, eating right, a part of my routine and make it my lifestyle again. I guess you could say it was my lifestyle before, but I don't know if I'd really call it that because I was living it, but because I had a goal to compete. Could you call it a lifestyle? I don't know. <laughs> You know, to me, making it a lifestyle is like you do it because, just because. You do it because it makes you feel good, because, and you don't have to really have a reason, but I guess if you want to feel good and be healthy, that is a reason. So, yeah. <laughs> See how my mind works? <laughs> See what I think about? I think that's about it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any videos, any upcoming videos of my journey. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.